Let's pick a vector. Let's call it vector v. And we'll say vector v is equal to negative 4, 1. So if we want to draw this, we can start at the origin and we'll say negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1. This is the vector v that we have chosen. Okay? Vector v. Now if we want to describe all possible vectors that are orthogonal to this, they would have to have some generic form. Let's say any possible vector u that's orthogonal to this, we would have to have an x component and a y component. And if they are orthogonal, then v dot u has to equal 0. Now, let's plug this in. Let's plug these values in. So let's say, well, vector v is fact four, minus 4, 1. And our dot u, and u has the general form of x, y. And this equals 0. So when we work this out, we find out that, well, multiply the first terms and add them to the second terms that are multiplied together, we would get negative 4x plus y is equal to 0. And now if we just want to solve for one of these variables, we can say solve for y, and if we add 4x to both sides, we get y is equal to 4x. Now what this means is that for this, this general this general vector u, which is orthogonal to this specific vector v, that whatever we whatever values we choose, the y value has to be four times bigger than the x value. So we'll just write this as this. We'll say u in general has to be, if we have some value x, the y component has to be four times bigger. So we'd say four x. Alright, so now let's just look at this. This is any possible vector. So let's uh, let's say we pick let's say we pick if x is equal to one, then that would equal this vector one four, right? Because just fill in where the x's go. And if we had let's change the color again. If we say we pick x is equal to negative two we would get the vector negative 2 and negative 8. So let's graph these. Let's go back to the first one for x equals 1. If we just graph the vector 1, 4, starting here, starting here we can go over 1 and up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 to that point. We'll just draw that on. Or we could draw on, say, this one, negative 2, negative 8. And we'll start at the origin. We can go 1, 2, and then down 8. It would actually be off the map a little bit, but it would extend down towards negative 8. So right away you can see that these look like they're right angles, but let's just check. Let's take the dot product to make sure. So if we take the dot product of v, which is negative 4, 1, with this vector that we found, dot one four we get negative four times one plus one times four and it's equal to zero so yep these are orthogonal and if we take the dot product of negative four one dot this vector we found it was negative two negative eight well we get negative four times negative two is eight plus 1 times negative 8, which is minus 8, and we get 0. So these two, ortho these two vectors are also orthogonal. And this works for any possible case using this, this setup here for the components. As long as the y component is 4 times bigger than the x component, that describes any possible vector that is orthogonal to this specific vector v.